Good morning, you will say it's Thursday, March 29th. We have information on Jogathog. We also have information about our next prep rally. This and more up next on Eagle TV. Athletic Booster Club scholarship applications for seniors are now available for pickup in this, our counseling office. Please do not procrastinate about completing these applications. There will be 10 $500 scholarships given at each school by our Athletic Booster Club. The final date to return these applications to your counselor office will be Friday, April 20th. Are you getting ready to take the ACT this spring or just interested in learning more about the ACT? Join us in the lecture hall on Wednesday, April 4th during Eagle Time as we host our presenter that will give information on ACT versus a SAT, test taking strategies, test format, practice questions, and more. Please sign up in Flex Time Manager. Come join the second annual Jog a Dog a Thon March 31st at e EHS. Proceeds go towards the senior class. The big event needs your help. For only $25, you can make a huge difference to help the big event. $25 covers the cost of three tools or five volunteer shirts in return for your donation. Your name, family name, or the name of your club, organization, team, or booster club will be included on the back of all volunteer shirts this year. Drop off donations to Miss Broughton in room D105. Checks made payable to Ian Big Event. Email kbroughton at nicdtexas.org with any questions or to donate. Donate by Friday, March 30th to have your name placed on our shirts. And now for a not sports center with Scout Cooper. What's up, Eagles? Have your loved one been affected by March sadness? Symptoms include tearing up your March Madness bracket, choosing Virginia to win the champ national championship, actually, on second thought, picking any number one seed to make it past the Final Four, having the bracket destroyed by a number six seed or less, and watching Matthew Berry fantasy sports videos into the early hours in the morning. Now, normally, whenever an extreme underdog beats a top team in their sport, I'd give a shout out to the fans of that team. So, to all seven of you University of Maryland Baltimore County fans, congratulations, and sorry for your loss immediately after. However, there is one Cinderella story left worth talking about. Loyola Chicago is in the final four, meaning everyone except for the infamous Sister Jeans bracket are destroyed. Also, in case you guys forgot, football is still a thing, as the Rams reminded everybody the other day when they added Nadama Kong Su to their super team roster. Adding him to the defense with Aaron Donald, Akib Tlaib, and Marcus Peters on defense, following the room, the Rams officially changed their name to the Golden State Rams, and Kevin Durant announced that he would be joining them next year for his next chapter so he can win a Super Bowl. That's all I've got for you today, Eagles. Stay classy. The next pep rally on April 6th will be the United Cultures of Eden. We would like to celebrate all cultures of Eden on that day by wearing traditional clothing from your ancestry. Also, we are looking for students and teachers who would want to contribute to the pep rally by performing an act or dancing from the culture of your culture. If you are interested in performing during the pep rally, please contact Ms. Taylor in the front office or Ms. Harden in room C301, 307 as soon as possible. The EHS Counseling Department is sponsoring an upcoming College 101 event that is taking place on April 3rd at 6 p.m. in the PAC. The event is for junior, stu junior students and parents. We will have a guest panel of 10 representatives from different colleges and universities covering a variety of topics related to college admissions, SAT, SAT, <laughs> ASVAB testing, NCAA, financial aid, and essay writing. Eagles, be sure to come out and show your support of Eden Rugby on Spirit Night at Chick-fil-A on the 29th. Drive through or order in. Show your Eagle spirit. 9th through 11th grade students, please turn in your graduation plan overview sheet with your parents' signature to the counseling office this week. Your final deadline to make these requests is through the last day of this school year. Student Council elections for the 2018-2019 school year will be held from April 18th through April 20th. If you have been helping out with Student Council activities and attending meetings this year, and you would like to run for class office or elective council, please feel free to pick up an election application from the front office. All applications and teacher recommendations are due to Ms. Taylor in the front office by 4 p.m. on Thursday, March 29th. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Taylor at mtaylor04 at nsdtx.org. Today, Ian High School is proud to fly our American flag for Chief Pet Petty Officer Donald Burnett. Today's hero serving the Navy for 20 years. The Ian Eagle are incredibly grateful to Chief Burnett and to his son and Eagle teacher, Mr. Burnett, for making this nomination. And now for the moment of silence and pledges. Please pause for a moment of silence.
Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. That's our review today, Eagles. I'm John Ambrona. And I'm Tavian Woodward, and this has been Eagle TV. Make it a great day, Eagles.